Hey, what is up guys? This is Cobb and welcome back to a little bit more Mega Bellum action in this one we're playing up against some heavy armor specialist. This is a 1400 MMR opponent who so I'm back on the grind trying to recover all of the MMR that has been lost <laughs> over the months uh, as a result of just memeing a little bit too hard, it's got to be said. Now, I am playing a wee bit of aerial specialist here with a sledgehammer heavy fang open. I didn't want to really go into the crawlers, I feel like they just feed, so might as well max out by on the fangs for now. And I just spent my unlock on phoenixes, which I think are going to help us out quite a bit uh, right off of the get-go. And so yeah, let's just see how it goes, shall we? And you know what? Ooh. Actually, wait a minute, let's see. Let's see what options we have here before I make any crazy calls. Assault Stormcaller, improve it. What the hell is this? <laughs> These options are trash, dude. Oh my god. I mean, it is tempted to go for a crazy Assault Stormcaller style. You know what? Am I that crazy, man? Am I that insane? We go for like Launcher Overload Stormcallers. They have no range, but crazy move speed and fire rate. That could be really funny. That, that could be really awesome. You gotta admit. Okay. Um, we're gonna go for something like that, man. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick to the plan for now. Gonna grab the phoenixes, I think. Maybe just a couple packs of phoenixes. One phoenix, one tank. Could also be just fine. I think that one phoenix, one tank is just okay, man. Um, I think I'll also like to sideload these guys a little bit. Something like this... Um, and we're going to spend the unlock on crawlers because I want to get these guys back next round. Um, I guess I kind of want the phoenixes going in this way. I think they're fine about here. Wow, why did they change orientation? Okay. That will do, man. That will do. Okay. Game on, boys. He spreads out the fangs. He's also going for the crawlers also. Let's see how this gans for us, man. His crawl- Oh god, his fangs are splitting very, very awkwardly for us over there. Sucks a little bit. The phoenix is really what I'm hoping you're going to make a big, big difference on this side as the last of the geeks go down. We should be able to take out the acolyte over here much, much faster now. So that's grit. Likewise, tanks on this side. And he's only got one little pack of fangs left alive over here now to really stop us doing from what we want to do. I wonder if he scouted me just yet. He actually went for elite hacker. Which is equally terrifying. Bro, imagine if I go for like assault mode maxman. Uh, sorry, uh, assault mode um, storm callers. <laughs> Which just sounds wrong right off the get go. And he starts countering my zero range storm callers <laughs> with elite hackers. Dude, that would be pretty goddamn gnarly. We make it for a good video though, that is for sure. Okay, man. Wraith, Fortress, Vulcan, Maxman, blah, 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 blah. Um. I don't mind the maximum. We've already got the phoenixes. Might not need that so much. Fortresses. Free unlock. Can't complain too hard. He doesn't have much giant killing potential either. And so maybe just the mass fortresses is totally fine. We'll grab the fortress for now. Dole it out like just here. There's so much stuff that I want to buy though. What's the highest priority? What's the highest priority geeks that we could possibly buy here? Hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm just going to stick to the plan. Grab these super low range storm callers with 11 meters per second move speed, which is just glorious. Start slamming these guys in like here, maybe. Maybe like over here. I kind of want them more spread out, though. Maybe the fortress is go goes like there. And these guys go a bit more forward facing. Hmm. Nah, I'll stick with what I got. I think that this is fine. I think it's fine. Cover the flank on this side. He actually goes into the Maxman, by the looks of things. Which is okay. He goes into range of the Acolytes, which is quite scary. Because <laughs> I have zero range Stormcallers here. They are quite tanky, though, these Stormcallers. Which is just stupid as hell. Oh god, I've got to hide my camera real quick. Sorry about that, boys. Get that out of the way. Gonna try and uh, remember to remove that during the actual battle sequences. So that it's not too distracting. Okay, nice, nice. 
The Stormcrawlers are getting a decent amount done. They have got the Crawlers all up in their face right now, which is just a little bit sad. Thankfully, the Fortress is tanking like crazy over here. We still have one Phoenix left alive, which is going to make a big, big difference for us. Very good. Building kill nice and quickly would be great. Okay. Get the Maximum dead. Nice. We actually get it done. Okay, well, the Big Daddy Fortress did a lot of tanking for us there. Makes a huge, huge difference. That's good. Cool. All right, man. What are our options? Steel Wall production line. I do get to cash in on that immediately, you know. That might just be good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to grab that and just get it on the fortress. It's going to give us value for the rest of the game. Uh, it's going to help keep the fortress alive. We can also grab some upgrades here and here. Apparently these Stormcallers got quite a bit done, so that's pretty funny. Um, I think what we want now is probably... Just more crawlers. I don't think I need to go super ham on the fortresses just yet. I think I want to get the crawlers on field. Probably our next biggest concern, right? Whoops. Do something like that. Crawlers, crawlers. Mass recruit crawlers. Perhaps. That could be it. Okay. Let's give it a go, man. Uh, crawlers all the way in the back over here. Maybe? Maybe they can have some impact? Maybe that is the way. Okay. We'll just do something like that, man. Uh, we also have free unlocks. I shouldn't be ignoring those too hard. Okay, let's see how this pans out, shall we? No further upgrades on the Acolytes, no further upgrades on the Maxman either. Just elite recruited sledges. These Stormcallers can get some levels. I will go ahead and dump the uh, Launcher Overload into these guys. Okay, what they need is a bit more chaff clear over here. I wasn't paying enough attention to this last round. Now it's kind of getting me a little bit wrecked. Can the tanks protect these guys? The Phoenixes are honestly doing the most work possible for us. The Phoenixes are doing a hell of a lot. Stormcallers don't quite get level 2 over there. That sucks a little, but you know what, man? The Phoenix is level 2. Um, absolutely paying out huge for us here. They're doing a lot of work. Do eventually go down, but it's all good. It's going to be enough. Lovely jubbly boys. Cool. All right, man. Improve firepower control. Hmm. Stupid ideas are going through my head right now. <laughs> ideas that really shouldn't be going through my head. Um, oh god, why am I like this, man? I'm supposed to be trying to win this game. Oh god, you know what? You know, you, you, you know how it is, okay? You know how it is. Some things have just got to happen in this life. One of them is zero range. Carry stove callers, man. Oh god, am I really about to do this, man? I'm just going to throw this game, though. Okay, for one turn in my life, I'm going to make the correct play here. Which is just get the goddamn shields up and running. Because uh, these are going to actually make a pretty sizable difference. And so, let's just do that for now. I am going to cash in, however, on an upgrade on these guys. As for the firepower control system... <sighs> I'm so tempted. You know what? Oh, God. What am I doing? Screw it. We're just going to do it, man. We're just going to do it. <laughs> We're just gonna do it. Oh, well, I don't know why I'm losing so much MMR, boys. God, I've got to get my act together and start winning games again. And then this happens. Look what the memes make me do, man. For God's sake. Hey, at least these guys are gonna absolutely slap these tanks over here now. Hopefully this fortress is gonna provide a little bit of protection and just hold these crawlers still against this big boy. We do see a whole bunch of stangs come out as well. Improved fire control actually goes on the stangs over here. We're not too worried about that, man. We got tanks in place. To take care of these guys. Big missiles coming in here. Ooh. Man, these stormies actually slap. With this firepower control action. Pretty tight. Even the stormies over here finding a bit more value on this occasion. They can grab some levels next turn. And would you look at that? It kind of plays out exactly the same as it did last round. Look at the damage these guys do. Dude, these stormies are legit. They're actually sweet. Alright. Okay. I mean, we, we dialed into this now, right? We're locked in. This is what this is what we're doing. Uh, range specialist is definitely going to come out. Um, 
Ooh. God damn. Uh, let me think. What can I do that's stupid that isn't going to instantly lose us the game? That's the challenge set before us, boys. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. There's things that are definitely happening here. This is one of them. This is one of them. And this is one of them. I think the next best thing... Not the best thing. But what I'm going to do next, I should say. <laughs> it's not the best thing. But is we're going to just fan out our additional sledges over here. Grab some additional crawlers. And maybe just pocket the money for now. Upgrades on this really necessary? I don't know. Probably not. Let's also maybe just protect against the orbital bombard a little bit. I suppose... Grab some plus attack while we're at it. Yeah, Bombard does come down, so a little bit of extra protection there goes a long way, I think. And all right, man. Let's see now. I think next round is going to be the round where we pull the trigger, by the way, on these storm callers. It's a lot of it's a lot of nerds that these stormies are going to be good against. We're going to have a lot of money to spend next round as well. So that's going to be grand too. They're getting some serious levels. If you can get level three on these stormies and just make these guys full carry, full send, giga chad stormies. That would be so funny. I mean, I don't know if it would be good, but it would just be—it would be funny. Okay. Oh God, my camera's still showing. Christ, I'm, I'm still—I'm still new at this whole camera tabbing in, tabbing out, malarkey. So apologies for that. Okay, storm callers get a little bit of action. Don't quite get either fortress dead though, so it's a lot of damage that we're taking right here. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, that's a little bit rough. I think we just need levels on them now. Levels, all that good stuff. He's gonna go saber tooths though. He might go the saber tooths here, man. That's gonna sting a little. We can't really go into the wasps. Ooh. Uh, oh, mm. No, no, we can't go into the wasps. What am I talking about? That's just a silly idea. Uh, the saber tooths would be fine, but honestly, we have so many tanks with so many levels that I don't think we need them necessarily. Might even go the melting point to sell the melting point here. To be honest. Is that nuts? Well. We memers, man. We gotta commit. This is it. This is it right here, man. This is the strat. This is the play. Okay, man. It's on. <laughs> it's on, boys. We're just gonna line these guys up. Get them all sorted out. Did he go for range specialist? He did not, man. So we actually have a pretty solid range edge uh, on this guy. Feels kinda good. Uh, the tanks... Did they deserve range at this point? Tanks might end up becoming my, like, electromag sort of artillery units uh, by the end of this game. Is my only thought and feeling. I think, moreover, we got to shear up the cha- Oh, God, it's, ah, uh, it's Elite Recruit on the crawlers here. That was a mistake. I should have bought those guys regularly before doing that. Okay, this is just going to have to do. It's a little bit hodgepodge. It's a bit higgledy-piggledy. Let's see what these storm callers can do, man. He does actually go for the melting points and goes into plus range as well. Look at the speed on these guys, dude. <laughs> so we're going to crack these shields just in one salvo, dude. Unbelievable. He actually doesn't go into the Sabertooths, meaning that all of these missiles are going to get to connect, and that is tight for us. Very good, very good. Yes. The firepower on these guys is just absolutely out of this world. It's looking great. Okay, man. Look at the damage per missile on these guys, man. I mean, it's just it's just nuts. On these guys in particular, it's kind of unbelievable. Real nice. I think what we need now is some very late arriving... Oh, no, he still has the Acolytes left alive. I think what we need is Phoenixes, bit of Phoenix range, and then some late arriving Fangs. That's what I think we need here. I think that, that will shoot us up by quite a lot. The range on the Acolytes might become a little bit of a problem as well. Okay, it's going to be quite an expensive round here. I think I am going to want range and electromag on the tanks. That's also going to be quite expensive too, though. There's kind of a lot of stuff that we've got to get done, which often happens when you are running a garbage build. It happens from time to time. Uh, I think I just skip everything here. I think that's just fine. Um, Yeah, I just kind of want to disable his arc lights from getting anything done. Going to put a precautionary missile, maybe. Just to take care of any crawlers that might get slammed at the frontier to distract my stormies. As though are, uh, those are my kind of golden unit. Um, the Electromag on the on the storm crawlers would just be cheaper than getting it on the tanks. Would be a fair bit cheaper. But then we're relying purely on these guys. Okay. 
Let's do a little bit of this. Let's grab the fangs. Then mass recruit, elite recruit. That other pack of phoenixes that we were talking about. Position them in roughly the same spot. The fangs need to be arriving really quite slowly uh, to the fight. So we'll take care of that. And that kind of puts us on the monetary back foot. And so I guess we're just going to do this. We'll grab some upgrades on these guys. I'll tell you that for free. Question is, range on the tanks? Yeah. I think we'll go the range on the tanks route. I think that's basically it. Okay. More fortresses, not bad. Acolytes still not ascended up to carry Acolyte status just yet. But that's what I'm worried about, right? I'm kind of worried about his, uh... It's kind of funny, dude. The Stormcallers are tanking for the tanks. <laughs> Just because of the range difference. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, it's great, man. This is this is beautiful. Mass missiles piling in. He doesn't really have much anti-missile um, tech going on right now. He's got a lot of very, very tanky units, but that's really all he's got going for him for the time being. <laughs> Once again, the Stormcaller's on the side making very, very short work of his nerds. The extra Phoenix is honestly getting a hell of a lot done for killing off the Acolytes this time at the end of the round. Very, very good stuff indeed. Huge missile salvo here, just ungodly damage piling into this guy from these ranked up stormies. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, it's, it, it, it's actually good, though. Like, like, why is this working, man? Why is this working? Okay. I mean, it's probably because he's, he, he's, not, he's not effectively countering the missile output, right? But I kind of feel like it's too late for that. We have Launcher Overload, right? It's really hard for him to shoot all these down. Um, next up, Steel Balls. Maybe with Crawlers popping out of them. That could be a thing, maybe. The Vulcans. Not great, not terrible. You know, I think I'm just going to go with the Wraith, and I'm just going to sell the Wraith off. Uh, like so... Pile some more upgrades into these nerds over here, because obviously... Electromag come out on the tanks. So the tanks have crazy range advantage now as well, so that's going to help us out quite a bit. Um, tanks, do they deserve some upgrades? I think they do, personally. Go ahead, slam those out. Now, he could go into the Vulcan here, at which point more fortresses is the answer. Don't think his melting points are ever really getting to connect on the fortresses. So I think I'm pretty safe to just kind of spam a crap load of fortresses here. We'll leave like one in the middle, just like here, then one out at the side. Uh, like so. A little bit into defense. And let's see if this does it, man. Let's see if we got what it takes over here. He goes into plus shielding on the fangs. I'm not that worried about that, though. Uh, just because we have so much firepower coming out from these stormies. That it might just be fine. Okay, here we go, lads. Let's do this. Huge missile salvos come in. Again, we have the Electromag on the Sledges, so they're going to stay super, super far back and just disable the crap out of the range on all of his guys. Hopefully that's going to be enough. He also goes into the Fire Badges here. I don't think I'm that worried about them either. The Stormcallers have the firepower to surely just absolutely eviscerate those guys. Now, finally, his melting points are going to start to connect on my big boys, which is a little bit scary. The missile salvos are still absolutely pouring in. We do have to get the big guys down, though, in order for this to work out. One fortress is about to drop. Come along now. Get this big guy dead, dudes. Oi, 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 oi. We're disabling its tech. Huge salvo. That's surely going to bring it down. A little bit tighter over here on this side as well, though. It is a self-healing fortress with that nano repair kit. It is finally going to go down. And that looks like it's going to be all she wrote, man. The Electromag's coming in pretty decently clutch at the end. Feels good, man. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Here we go, boys. I should have knew that this time was coming. It's the good old aggro steel ball crawler style opener against a heavy armor specialist. Damn. Little bit nervous about this one. Tanks. Generally not the best opener. Oh god, I totally forgot the golden rule about sledges as well, man. Well, I just didn't scout what the, what the hell his opener was, to be honest. Should have placed these sledgehammers in the vertical patterns, same as the fangs. Uh, just to make the steel balls a bit less effective. As it stands right now, this could get ugly pretty fast. Oh god. 
yeah, multiple tanks are going to start getting lashed at the same time here. Which is like the worst case scenario. They're going to buzz through us very, very fast indeed. Okay, man. We've got a bit of an aggro showdown to deal with here then. Interesting. And down we go, boys. Damn. Oof. Man, that stings. For a first round, that's really, really bad. Partially my own fault, of course. Uh, Sabertooths, Wasps. Pretty likely that he follows these guys up with Mustangs, by the way, so the Wasps are probably not the best idea. Uh, the Scorpion could do a little bit of something for us for just one-shotting the crap out of the Steel Balls. But really what we need to back this up is gonna be more chaff here, probably, and chaff clear. Uh, do we trust the tanks to get this done? I don't think I do, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit the cardinal sin of not trusting in the in the sledges here. It's absolutely terrible of me, I know. Uh, this guy down over this way. Precautionary missile over here. This guy's up to some shenanigans, and he does, of course, go for the stangs, which is absolutely expected. This Aki should be able to kill off most of the crawlers before these guys get into range and uh, take it out. With a few crawlers to spare, that's good enough. Sadly, the Scorpion is going to get absolutely deleted before it gets a shot off on these guys. Sucks quite a bit, and they're going to drop the building again, man. Oh god, I hate playing against aggro so much. I can't stand it. Oh. Alright, man. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay. Damn. Okay. Soul Falcon, Mass Produce, Sledgehammer, blah, blah, blah. Portable Shield. I don't know, man. All these seem a little bit naff, a little bit crappy. I think we just get rid of a lot of them. Stangs. He doesn't have the greatest. I mean. The Acolytes are a damn problem, man. They're a damn problem. I think I will need Crawlers. Maybe it's also time to just start selling up over here as well. Build we'll recovery these guys and just start to switch to Scorpions sort of all over the place. Could totally be a thing. Crawlers on this side, Crawlers on this side. Something like that and something like that, perhaps? Hmm. I really, really don't want to use a missile here, if I can avoid it. I think maybe I can avoid it. Let's try this, man. Okay, he's going to give us a bit of a switcheroo on this side. We're totally fine over here against these steel balls now. Scorpion will just absolutely eviscerate those. We are going to lose building again, though, basically with 100% certainty. That said, most of his guys took a big old detour over here. Sadly, he's going to get the building dead before the Scorpion can engage on these guys, which is like worst possible uh, scenario for us, I guess. Kind of bad. One Scorpion still left standing. We really got to get the building dead over here, though. It's just going to take too long. These guys are going to turn around. Yeah, it's like everything that can go wrong is just going like micro wrong in this game. Okay. Not beyond recovery, though. Right. Uh, missile strike. He actually can't really defend against a missile strike. Modified hacker. Eh. Let's go for the missile strike. His crawlers are running in this exact direction. He can't actually shield to protect these guys uh, very effectively at all. So if we just smack it right there, it should kill a lot of these crawlers, if not all. Um, I'm wondering, honestly, if this isn't just like a carry act like game at this point. I think I just keep on selling off the tanks. A little bit of building health there as well. Might go a long way. I think for now, we just do a little bit of this. Maybe I just run the Rhino straight up into... Straight up into building as well. Let's 
Something like so. Maybe it'll get there. Maybe it won't, man. Let's just see if it works. Okay, so we already have one Acolyte here. One Acolyte here. I guess I give these guys range, first and foremost. A little bit of building health on this side. Maybe I just pull them back a little bit, even. They don't need to be so deep in there, right? Yeah, they don't need to be so deep in there, I don't think. Okay. Let's just save the 50. Going on the aggressive with the Rhino looks like it's going to help us out quite a bit. Missile takes out almost all of the crawlers, which is awesome. Very, very good indeed. And we're pretty well positioned now to go some like plus attack on the Acolytes. Building goes down. That's going to be a hell of a lot of experience for us. Good stuff. He actually went absorption module steel balls. You don't see that all too often. He did pick up the storm callers as well, which are obviously pretty good uh, into the Aki. So we can't rely on them completely, but I would like to be able to rely on them to just stop the building uh, getting shredded like that. The Rhino might actually be like a low-key hero for us here. Rises a bit of time. Nice for the Scorpion to get done, but it needs to get done. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Very good. Mobilize battleship. Um. Hmm. Mobilize battleship on his back line, maybe. Am I that worried about it though? Is it that big of a deal? I think I just go for it. I just go for it, man. Pop it in like right here, I guess. Probably sell the Rhino now. He also went into plus range on the Steel Balls too. I think that happens. Okay. Let's maybe give him some uh, continued crap to deal with here. Get some replicating crawlers up over there. Likewise, additional crawlers, maybe just to arrive like right in his face. Well, not right in his face, but close enough to cause him some serious annoyance. And hopefully dodge some, dodge some shots rather. From these stormies, perhaps? And screw it. Additional fangs, because you can't really go wrong. Okay, man. Let's see. Okay, he spawns in his Overlord on our flank. Thankfully, our Overlord just eviscerates his uh, Phoenixes immediately, which is pretty funny. And we will actually get the building kill way, way before Emmy here, which is going to allow our Acolytes to just absolutely farm the hell out of the uh, Steel Balls on this side. Which is just sweet. Replicating Crawlers as well are also finding all kinds of value. Really, really nice. Cool, man. Very good. That's real good, man. And we still got a couple of Maxmen left, even to take care of the Overlord too. Oh my god, we get the building kill before him. <laughs> okay, nice. Everything went wrong for us in the early rounds. Now our fortunes are reversing a little bit. And down he goes. Very good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Sabertooth, Vulcan, uh... I mean, what is he most likely to go here? Hmm. Probably the Vulcan. It's got the Phoenixes to deal with Overlord already. I guess Sabertooth for me is pretty good. Helps to absolutely annihilate the Stangs. We can also shoot down missiles with it. Sabertooth anti-missile also shoots down Overlord missiles and potentially Vulcan incendiary bombs. Seems quite good to me to just grab this and then never have to worry about his Stormies again. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, okay. I think these Acolytes are definitely worth some levels. We might as well pick these up. Scorpions... He might just get rid of these crawlers now, by the way. That's also another thing that could totally go down. I have to be a little bit wary of that. I think it's probably best to start building into stronger marksmen. Just a good feeling that I've got. 
Oops. Backup maxman here. Extra maxman here. Something like so. A little bit of shielding. He actually goes into the Overlord. Okay. Yeah, just something about the Phoenixes. The threat of a Vulcan coming down. Giant units. The Wraith was also an option. Kind of felt like it was probably time to shear up our anti-air potential. Oof. Damn, that's a big fort on a mission, actually. That's a big fort on a mission. So the Sabertooths are able to shoot down a lot of the missiles coming out from the Overlords, but not all of them. They're still going to have some trouble. Uh, eventually, this guy's already starting to run out of his missile shooting down potential. At least we get one of the big boys dead. Nice, we even saved the building on this left side. Okay, cool, man. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Those were some clutch marksmen. I'm pretty happy with that call. That feels quite good. Uh, fortified hacker, barrier, electromag. Well, these guys are going to be immune to that, so that's not that great. Um, Look at how many nerds he's got over here, man. Does he also run... He does run Mothership. He's got a lot of supply left to burn. Do I have to be worried about Mothership? Particularly? Hmm. Wow, he didn't actually sell his crawlers on the back over here, by the way. Quite surprising. Okay, first things first. Missile over here. Dude, can I click on the missile? What is this? Oh, I have to pick this first? Dude, skip. Get the missile down over there. I think that's pretty tight. Uh, aerial specialist on the Maxman. Maybe. I almost feel like Stangs is probably going to be the better call here. Hmm. Yeah, Stangs also going to act as chaff. I think I like the Stang pick. I think I like the Stang pick, man. Range first? I think range. Let's just get some further crawlers to arrive super, super late on. And you know what? I think that that'll do. I'm going to get missiled here, of course, but... Oh, he actually doesn't missile. Okay. He went into... Oh my god, he's switcherooing on the phoenixes. So my missile takes out three of his phoenixes. That's pretty damn good. But his phoenixes will get into the back line over here. No, they won't. This maximum is totally going to take care of it. Nice. All well and good and handled. Feeling pretty nice about that. Sabertooth on this side is too exposed. I need to I need to be paying more attention to that. That shouldn't have happened two rounds in a row, man. That's a big mistake from me. Ooh. The random hacker comes out, man. I mean, this thing will die pretty damn quickly, right? We've got a scorpion that's just going to shoot it down. But we do have to punch through this barrier quite quick. Okay, building being dead is going to help a lot with that, though. Very nice. Okay. So I noticed a couple of things in that round. One is that his units are actually extremely, extremely immobile. Um, very, very much immobile. Like, with the range on his steel balls, they actually have similar range to the Stangs. The Stormcallers never move, the Hackers never move, and the Acolytes almost never move. So as soon as the Crawlers are dead, it's just a stationary blob. Um, that's making me think that maybe going way harder into the Scorpions at this stage... Might actually help us out. You know what I'm saying? Could be a thing. Okay. Maybe we do something a little bit like that. I think that the Orbital Bombard here just makes too much sense. So we'll go ahead and just dollop that in there. Uh, the range on the Scorps, I think, is probably going to be the play. We have enough stangs to sort of clap cheeks forever here. So I'm not worried about the stangs. Uh, these guys, I guess I'm just going to missile them. Maybe just missile them again, to be honest. Just to ensure that they're going to go down. Plus range, plus move speed. And then scorpions? I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh god, no, we need to mass recruit more chaff, didn't we? That was part of the issue over here. I need some chaff to push in front of these guys. And you know what? I need to also borrow money against uh, possible bombardment here. So let's go ahead and do that too. 
You know what? Maybe we can just guarantee a kill on those guys. Never mind. Big shields come out. Okay. So it looks like the scorpion switch up is also going to be pretty handy for us. He doesn't go into the orbital bombard himself. Interesting. We totally take care of that bottom left flank over there, so that's going to help us out quite a bit. Very good. We have way more time now for this big saber tooth to do massive, massive damage to the steel balls. And likewise, the additional scorpions just cleave through the blob of sort of medium range units that he's got over there. Get this hacker dead. Get in the sea, man. Okay. Nice. Cool, man. Oh, God. Look at the crappy MMR, dude. We, we, we really, really got to do something about that, man. That MMR is in tatters. But you know what? A few wins on the bounce. We'll get back up to like 1400, 1500 in no time flat. And then I'll cap out again because that's my limit in this game. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy a little bit of gameplay from my deficient MMR point of view. <laughs> Which makes a bit of a change on the channel. At least I get to play every now and again. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man.